This video will demonstrate external backwiring. Your device may differ from the device presented in this video. Be sure to follow all wiring instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you're unsure about any part of the instructions, consult an electrician. Have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and a handheld voltage tester. To avoid fire, shock, or death, be sure to turn off the power at the circuit breaker or fuse and test that power is off before wiring a device. Use a handheld voltage tester to confirm that there is no power. External back wiring involves terminating leads with external clamps located on the side of a device and then securing them manually by tightening terminal screws. To terminate this device, take one of the conductors and strip the insulation from the conductor the length shown on the strip gauge on the rear of the device. Next, simply insert the conductor under the clamp. There are guide channels to help keep the wire in place. Use a screwdriver and turn the terminal screw clockwise to tighten the conductor under the clamp. Give a gentle tug afterwards to assure that the conductor is terminated. Follow the exact same procedure with any other conductors. After the first two conductors have been terminated, the last step is to terminate the ground conductor, which is the green or bare copper conductor. Follow the same procedure as the other terminals. If you live in a municipality where properly grounded metal wall boxes are used, you may not need to use the ground screw to provide ground to the device. Instead, the brass self-grounding clip will provide necessary grounding. Always check your local building code requirements and be certain to comply. The device is now terminated. For more detailed information on specific termination methods or wiring of Leviton devices, visit Leviton.com.